People ask me in the last day constantly what I think about the collaboration of Omega and Swatch and I didn't have a clear answer because I was blinded by another watch. But now let's do it. As a space buff and a vivid player of Kerbal Space Program, I like the project. To be honest, I find none of these watches very appealing. They lack the depth of space, their only surface. But it's a fresh idea, let's give them that. Real space, on the other hand, is deep and endless. A black as dark as Russian military doctrine, illuminated by a cosmic beacon that bathes our minor existence in the glow of gold. Space only goes together with dreaming, persistency and unlimited funds. And that does not apply to the Omega Swatch, it applies to the Vararon Constantin Historique 222. Let's go over the specifications of our sun here. We have an automatic watch made of 18 karat gold. Case diameter is 37 mm, length of the front plane also 37, height 8 mm. We have a sapphire crystal and inside works the caliber 2455-2 operating at 28,800 beats with a power reserve of 40 hours, waterproof up to 50 meters. And price on request, they state on their website to maintain the most pretentious attitude possible. But as a simple folk, I may tell you the price is 62,000 euros or 68,000 US dollars. So let's begin with the heritage. The watch was produced the first time in the 70s with a smaller diameter. So this is a modernized reissue that follows the design principles of Gerald Genta. Principles that are very trendy right now. We've seen them on Omega watches, on Tissot's and also on several micro brands. The integrated bracelet sets focus on the material of the watch. So normally a severe dose of steel and here now pure gold. We all know that gold is a very heavy material, but you may have noticed that the watch here has the typical Vacheron measurements that means slender. The movement for example is only 3.6 mm high. For comparison, the common Solida SW200 measures 4.6 mm. And they really play with the material. For instance, here you see the new designed Maltese cross in the lower right corner. Note that you see there not less than three different types of finishing concentrated on a few millimeters. High polished, sandblasted, brushed. They just show you every facet of the material. The golden dial with the simple indices and hands underlines that here the gold tone is the star. They've really managed to form a unity. It's a bit of a shame that the watch has a see-through case because it exposes ordinary steel, but of course also the fat 18K rotor. See this? Nice feature on their website. Looks amazing from every angle. But now let's imagine we have reached space. We are there. We have this baby on the wrist. What to wear is my question now. I personally would sport the watch only in the summer paired with a one button suit made of raw silk. The guys wouldn't speak a word with me anymore, but I think for an afternoon I would be in heaven with this combination. Vararon Constantin Historique 222 avec de la soie grège. Somebody should talk Paul into this. Would be an interesting next chapter of his Watch Odyssey. And with that suggestion, let me close this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.